Hey there, what's going on? This is Leo coming to you from Solano County with another video to help you, the small business owner, um, to increase your online exposure so that obviously more customers are able to find you. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how do I track online reviews for my business. Um, real quick before we get started, so if you are small business owners and you already um, gathering online reviews, right? You have, for example, sites like Google, um, Yelp, Facebook, and you are kind of monitoring that, seeing that, or asking people to uh, send you online reviews. And perhaps this is going to help you the most because you're already doing it, right? But sometimes you may be asking, how do I track that? Because maybe perhaps you... Um, are not fighting out first at hand when somebody posts a bad review or a good review. Instead, um, it's taking you some time to uh, realize what people are talking about your business or perhaps um, you just don't have the time, right? So maybe you're asking yourself, okay, what can I do to uh, find out quicker when somebody some posts something about my business? Um, so there are solutions and services, right? For example, software solutions, there are many you can research. Um, I haven't worked with any, so I wouldn't be able to recommend you one at this point. Um, service solutions, right? For example, something that I will do, monitor that for you. Um, and other companies that I work with um, can do that for you. Um, it, it really depends on how much work uh, you as the business owners can put into something like this, right? Um, I, I think still need to, it's important for you as the business owners to keep a, uh, a check pulse on what people are talking to you about, about your business uh, online. Um, you know, just like you would about people posting about something that you offline, right? So you want to keep track of those things. Don't just uh, put it to the side or forget about it or throw it to the back, right? Um, so it really depends, right, and the work that you want to um, want to do yourself, or or how how much you want to uh, give this work to somebody else, right? Do you have the staff to be able to do it for you? Do you have, uh, or do you have to go out and get a company that can provide the service for you? Um, some of the things that I will recommend how you can keep track of online reviews are one is Google Alert. So if you Google um, Google Alert. Uh, you'll be able to come up with um, uh, this screen over here, right? And, and make sure that usually, typically, uh, whatever account you sign into is the one that is going to come up first. So if you have multiple accounts, um, you can change that up. So, for example, if I go to my digital track account, um, you can see I have different alerts, right? So, for example, I, let's say I work with this business called uh, El Caracol, right? I'm back up. So, I can put alerts like, I don't know, El Caracol Restaurant, right? And create that. So, I'm, I, I'm monitoring uh, that specific keyword. Or let's say El Caracol Vacaville. Right, so that's it's just as simple as that, and then you, you see you have some options here. Uh, how often? Okay, at most once per day, as it happens, once a week. Sources, uh, right? You can set it to automatically or specific sources over here. I guess this be more related to um, where is your business name supposed to come up. Um, so just leave it automatically if you're not sure in uh, language. As you can see, you can set up the language there. Region, obviously, I'm going to set United States because we are a small local business. Um, how many results or results, only best results or results delivered to. Uh, and you can specify there um, where to send it to. Obviously, the email address that will be here will be the one link to your uh, Google account. So then I can create the alert. So that's Google Alerts, right? Now, anything on the internet that pop up with those keywords, um, it will come up now this over here that i did uh it's a little bit more advanced if you notice why some has um uh, uh this little symbols or why so it don't um this little symbol just basically basically makes it more specific right so um 
basically the alert would be when these two words together come up. Uh, this over here, the alert will come up when something similar come up. So a lot of times the alert may come up, uh, something that is not related. Um, so it is just more general type of terms that you do in there. That's just a little quick tip advance, but let's not dive too deep. I don't have too much time to go into that. Um, so the other alert here, or the other way to keep track, it's social mention. So a lot of times you can do that by, for example, going to Facebook, okay? Using the example of El Caracol, you can say El Caracol. Um, that's one way to uh, find what people are talking about. I mentioned in Caracol, um, you can go to post, see if anybody mentions El Caracol. You can see posts will come up there. These are private posts. These are posts from uh, public posts. Um, so if I go to see all public posts, you can kind of see what um, what posts people are coming up with and caracol, things that has a caracol, right? But there are other caracols, so um, that's why um, that's why I went to search. But let's say then I do something like um, pound and caracol. If you have a specific keyword for your business, um, then use it, right? Um, as you can see, I have photos, some photos here, um, but some other keywords that I have, for example, it's kind of called Vacaville. I use that a lot just to specify this is kind of called Vacaville only. Uh, and let's see, you can see what people are posting, right? The kind of called, using kind of called Vacaville. Uh, I can see posts of people using this hashtag. Um, that's one way to monitor what people are posting about you. The other one is uh, go to Instagram. People use um, uh, Instagram a lot. Use a specific keywords that you tell people to um, to use, right? Um, this is all depends how many how you get people used to um, for them to tie your business. So you can either um, tell them to use the specific um, keyword for people to uh, post whenever they post something. And you can do that by, um, you know, uh, uh, doing an post. Hey, make sure to post, use the specific keywords and you, you'll win something, right? And so people start getting used to. Also on your post, if you post um, uh, a lot of things and use that keyword, then a lot of people will get used to that keyword as well, right? Uh, simply because I've got a call. Uh, if I just do a pound and caracol, there could be many things that can make them up. If I know how to spell caracol, see, there's a lot of posts that will come up. Um, and there's, I don't know, there's many different things not related to um, the restaurant. So that's why, you know, it's important to create a specific keyword that is not used very often by any other business. Um, it's not too general, um, and so that's one way you can do it, right? Uh, doing something specific like the name of your business plus the rest, the, the city, um, something like that. So that's are the two that I mentioned over here, how you can keep track, Google Alert or social mention. The other thing that I would suggest you to do is make sure that you, um, if you haven't done it, make sure that you sign up to, um, to your own Google My Business account, right? And you download it. You can download this to your phone, or you can uh, uh, set it to receive email. So uh, every business that have a physical location or has a service area within a specific location, right, within a county, let's say, or within a city, uh, or within a specific zip code, should um, have a Google My Business account because that's how people find you uh, on the map. Let's say, for example, if I look for El Caracol. Um, this over here is a Google My Business account because um, <clears throat> basically it's a listing that you have on Google, right? If you go to the map, that's how your business will come up in the map when you set up a Google Business account, My Business account. And if you want to know, you know, we can talk about more of that in a different video or you can call me. Um, so, but yeah, the way you want to have uh, this set up because this is what's going to allow you to receive alerts as well when somebody posts a review 
about your business, right? If you download the application on your mobile device, you will receive uh, an alert notification. Um, and also you'll get an email uh, when somebody leaves a review or add a picture, etc. Um, the other important one is, for example, Yelp. You want to make sure that you take control of Yelp. Uh, you can do so by, if you don't know how, if you still don't have it, you can do so by going to biz.yelp.com. And that's how you're going to log in as a business owner. <clears throat> you can set up a specific alerts that you want to receive. But again, it's similar to Google My Business, right? This is how you're going to um, get review or get notifications on your phone if you download the app. Um, there's two apps that you can do. One is the normal Yelp ad app for um, you know, for you to go and review. And the other one is the Biz uh, Yelp app for business owners where you will log in and be able to see your business account on your phone as well. And you get an email notification on the top of your phone uh, letting you know when somebody leaves a review. Um, and also, uh, you you also can get emails, right? When people leave a review or add pictures, etc. So, uh, those are the, the ways I will recommend you, right? Make sure you use Google Alerts. You can use social mention to look for specific keywords, uh, or you can definitely take need to take care of or take over or, or take control of your um, Google uh, uh, My Business account. And Yelp. And even if you're not a restaurant, you should be on Yelp just because it's such a powerful directory site that a lot of business now there are listed there not just for um, not just for restaurants so for example if I go to Yelp you can see now it, it comes up with barber spas handyman um, so many different options now that people list their business there so just don't need it, really need to be um, a, a restaurant anymore so that's all the information I want to share hopefully that helped you and if you have any other tips um, that you want to share with our audience about how to keep track of your online reviews, right? For example, if you know any software that you recommend, if you know any service that you, solutions that you recommend, please let us know. Post it below in the comment section. Um, if you have any further questions about what we cover today, something that you would like more in detail, you would like me to make a, de a video detailing more about one of the things that we covered today, please let me know. Um, post it below. Um, now, the other thing I want to offer you, the business owners in the county, is if you are a small business owner, uh, not necessarily just in the county, right, but um, that you are struggling with customers complaining that they cannot find you online or the information they find online is for your competitor um, or that the information they find out by you is it's wrong, right? Either be the wrong phone number, the wrong address, the wrong uh, business hours, which brings tons of bad experience, uh, you know, bad customer service experience. Um, well, I can, what I can do for you is provide you a free report analysis to see what's causing this issue, right? All you have to do is come to this website, digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business, and you complete the information here so that I have the necessary information to put that report together. Make sure you provide your phone number, a good phone number, where I can call you back so we can set up a call or a good email, right? Because uh, it's not just, get, um, what I'll do is uh, I get this information and put the report together for you uh, and then go over it to help you understand what is causing the, the problem, right? And then at the same time, I'll be able to provide you some um, uh, recommendations of what can be done to fix it. So this is not automated. What's going to happen, again, when you put your information, and I'm going to receive an email with your information, and then I'm going to put the report together and then I'm going to contact you to set up a time for the both of you us can talk and go over the report and also um, <clears throat> go over the report and also see what can be done to um, fix that is those issues. Hope you have a great one. If you need to get in contact with me for some reason, you can come to my web main website, digitaltrack.co. The reason why is because there you can find my cell where you can text me or call me. You can find my email. Um, you can um, uh, find my social media as well. All right, have a good one. Bye.